you have to be mindful of what you consume. And we're not just talking about what you eat and what you drink, but also what you let get into your mind and into your environment. Boy, that is, that's definitely true. Gar- they say garbage in, garbage out. And I think it, it applies whether it's your diet, whether it's the music you listen to, whether it's the content. All of those things have, have what they say, energy or meaning in the universe where, you know, you, you're consuming songs that are talking about, you know, bad stuff and hurting people and all these things, man. You know, ultimately it's going to have an effect on you. There's no way, there's no way for it not to. So what you ingest, whether it's content, whether it's food, whether it's relationships, you know, you want to always be trying to put good stuff in you because then typically good stuff's going to come out. If you put a lot of garbage in, you never know, man. Sometimes you can't separate the good from the bad and, and it starts to affect your behavior and your outlook, your life, everything. So yeah, it's super important. Yeah, I think that's also about what we talk about. It's very valuable uh, who your close network is mm-hmm. because those, you know, the content that they are, the, the feedback that they give you, um, you want to associate yourself with people that are, are winners, essentially, you know, people that have success, success breeds success. And I think that's where it comes from having that kind of mindset and surrounding your people with that mindset. I mean, surrounding yourself with people of that same mindset, I think is very important. Yeah. You want to be healthy. People are going to help you get healthier. Smart people are going to help you get smarter. Yeah. Dumb people are going to help you get dumber. So, I mean, <laughs> if you just think about it, you know, it's, it really is like that though. You know, you, you hang around a dumb person long enough if you're not affecting them and getting them smarter, they're affecting you and you're getting dumber. And the same thing in, in every, everything, the, the people that are right around you and the things that are around have an incredible influence on you. And when you learn that, that's when you start to put barriers up and say, no, I see the way this works. I can replace this deadbeat with somebody who's productive. Now, you know, I'm, this person's in the direction I'm going and, and the other person isn't. So just doing... You know, the people that you hang around with, the people that you talk with, the content that you consume, the your friends, um, there's nothing more important, I don't think, right. that, what do they say, show me your, your closest five friends and I'll show you your future. And maybe it, it works like that all the time, maybe it, maybe it doesn't, but it seems to me it's a pretty good, uh, it's, it's a pretty good indication of where things are going. And just to provide an example, I started paying attention to this and it, Sometimes the smallest changes can have a big impact. Like I told y'all every morning, once I start getting ready, I'm like, Alexa, play today's hits. And I started paying attention to what kind of music I was listening to. And then once I started asking her for specific playlists, like happy music, radio, Christian music, stuff like that, whatever you, whatever makes you feel good, it made me already have a better morning. Mm -hmm. And I felt like it energized my soul. Um, and then also like I paid attention to mindless scrolling. I think if you're, if you're mindless scrolling, you're just feeding things that just have little to no impact. You're not feeding your brain at all. So yeah, I think even if you just make one small little change, it can, it can make your days better. So look at everything you're doing and make a determination whether it's adding to your life or subtracting. And that's a good way to go do it is just to kind of go through a day or a week, take inventory of the things that you're consuming, the people you're hanging out with, and how you feel about, you know, and that's literally all you have to do. And you'll understand what things are bringing you down and what things are raising you up. And you get rid of the things that are bringing you down and add more of the things that are raising you up. You just got to be, it goes back to being self-aware, being able to look in the mirror, being able to really evaluate yourself and have those hard conversations with yourself. Sometimes it sucks. Listen, it was a big hurdle when I stopped drinking, right? I was consuming alcohol and what you consume, you know, can dictate who you are. And it wasn't a good thing for me. It took me a long time to face that. I wish I would have faced it years ago because it wasn't that big of a deal once I faced it. But sometimes we have this thing worked up in our mind that it's like an incredible hurdle to overcome. And usually it's just your mind deceiving you. You just got to, you know, it's the first step is evaluating things, identifying them, and then taking action. It's not that difficult. And I think sometimes too, it makes, it's, um, if you make like a just small tweak to make your life easier to make that kind of stuff, you know, I know like meal prep and things like that for food makes it easier because the, when you're hungry, the first thing you want to grab is what's easy. Mm -hmm. One of the things I started doing that's a little bit different is that I found books that I wanted to read that I wanted, that I thought might impact my life in a positive way. And anytime I feel like I'm moving towards going to that social media, I put it to the side and I grab the book instead. And just having that available, like that's next good. to the toilet and shit like that, because yeah. you know that's that's, that's where you really do a lot of. Scrolling you got to set time. yourself up for success and not fail. You, dude. that's what you're doing, man. So 
you had to evaluate things before you you did that though, Mike. You, yeah. you you had to sit down, you had to make an assessment, be truthful with yourself, say, these are some things that I have problems with. How can I correct them? There's a solution for every problem. You just gotta look for it. Well guys, you heard it here. Be mindful of what you consume. Yeah. I hope you have a great day.